What's up guys? It's Sean Nicholas here. I'm going to show you guys how to easily identify a regular treasure hunt and I'm going to go over some basic tips so that you guys know exactly what you're looking for when you walk up to the pegs and if you're lucky enough to get the box. So let's go ahead and get to it. Let's start off by going over the three different ways that you can easily identify that this right here is a treasure hunt. Now the first dead giveaway is that low production symbol in the rear. That is a circle with a flame inside of it. That is Hot Wheels low production symbol. They only put that on treasure hunts. The second way that you'll be able to tell is the name of the car right here, Draftinator. This is a 2022 treasure hunt. So they're not going to make another Draftinator in 2022 and put it out that's non-treasure hunt. It's not like the Supers where they put a regular out and they have the Supers. So if you're looking through the pegs and you see that it says Draftinator on the bottom of the car, that's a treasure hunt. Grab that. Um, the third way to tell that it is a treasure hunt, see if I can get you guys to see this, is on the bottom here, below the car, I don't know if you can see that, but it says, congratulations, you found a treasure hunt. That's the third way that you guys can tell that this is a treasure hunt. On this car, it's kind of hard to see the treasure hunt symbol, the low production symbol. It's right there behind that front wheel. So sometimes you really got to look for that uh, low production symbol to find it. And if you're not able to find it, you can verify it by seeing below the car that it says congratulations you found a treasure hunt now you know how to easily identify a treasure hunt i want you guys to go to hwtreasure.com click on t hunt on the top that's a regular treasure hunt go to 2023 click on 2023 and remember that list so when you go out in the wild you know exactly what you're looking for let's say you're out in the wild and you find a box right you're like wow I found a box. I know Sean told me they got the low production symbol on the car. It says, congratulations, you found a treasure hunt behind the car, right? Now you need to know what you're looking for in this box. Before I open the box, I know exactly what treasure hunt, what super I'm looking for in this box. And the way I can do that is right here. It says A case. Right on the side, it's gonna say A case all over the box. So it's easily ident identified. Um, what you want to do is when you're on hwtreasure.com, click on the first car. That's the A-case car. The first case car is going to be the Raging Express. So if you find this car in the A-case, you know this is indeed the treasure hunt. It's got the low production symbol right there in the middle of the car. Now, let's say you're looking through the box and you don't want to miss the super. If you go on hwtreasure.com, you can click on the supers right there, go to 2023, click on that A case, and you know exactly what super to look for in this case, because this is indeed an A case. So let's say you keep looking through here. Bam, a super, right? You see that Spectre Flame paint? You see that TH symbol right here? You see those rubber, rubber Real Rider wheels? You see that gold flame behind the car? That means that this is right here, a super. And if you guys want to know exactly how to easily identify a super, I made a video on that. So go ahead and check that out. Let's go over this one more time. This right here is the P case. And I know that because it says P right here. Let's say you find this on the pallet or they haven't put it out yet. They said you can go through it. Let's say you open this thing up. Boom, boom, right? You know, because I just told you that this right here is the P case. So when you're looking through here, I know I'm looking for a muscle and blown because I went on hotwheelstreasure.com and I saw that the P case has the muscle and blown as a treasure hunt. Bam. Muscle and blown treasure hunt right here, which is the P case. On the back of the car, it says P right there at the end of the code. And that tells me that this is a P case treasure hunt. Let's say I keep looking, right? I know that the super, because I went on hotwheelstreasure.com and I scrolled down the supers and I saw that the PK super is the 32 Ford. Bam, found the 32 Ford. How do I verify that this is a super? The real rider wheels, the Spectre Flame paint, and that gold production symbol below the car. And also the name, it's a 32 Ford. They have regular 32 Fords, it's not like the treasure hunts. So that is another helpful tip. So my final tip for this video is very helpful and I think you guys can benefit from. Let's say you come up to the pegs, you couldn't find the box, right? 
So you come up to the pegs, it's fully stocked, and you're like, wow, what do I look for? I remember Sean told me, you know, the love production symbol, the uh, congratulations, you found the treasure hunt behind the car, uh, but you don't know what you're looking for, right? You pick one of the cars up, any random car, let's say it's not the treasure hunt. You can look around the back here, get that to focus, and right there, it's going to say that this right here is a JK's car, and that's only for U.S. cars. Um, once you see that this is a JK's car, you can go on hwtreasure.com, like I mentioned earlier, and you can scroll down to the JK's car, see what treasure hunt that is. This one right here is the gotta go. So if you're looking through the pegs, you can look at the bottom, through the bottom, all through the bottom, and just look for that name. Just look for that gotta go name. You see that gotta go? Verify that it is indeed a treasure hunt by looking for that low production symbol on the car, flipping it around back and seeing that congratulations, and third, the, na the name of the car. And that right there is a helpful tip for you guys to easily identify a treasure hunt. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. I put out lots of Hot Wheels content. I think you guys will enjoy it. So please, subscribe. Yes.